Chondromas are benign tumours of cartilage. And they are situated within bone. They occur most frequently in the bones of the hands and feet, although they are uh, un distinctly uncommon in the bones of the thumb. They may present with pain if there is a pathological fracture, but if they are in the large bones, they are usually asymptomatic. There is no sex predominance and they can occur at any age. The majority of enchondromas are solitary, but th around 30% are multiple, and there are a couple of syndromes that are characterised by multiple enchondromas. Uh, these include Ollier's disease and Mafuchi syndrome, where there are multiple soft tissue hemangiomas in addition to the enchondromas. When enchondromas are multiple, they tend to be unilateral, and also there is an increased risk of malignancy developing, especially chondrosarcomas. On x-ray, enchondromas are well circumscribed and they are within the medullary cavity of the bone and show uniform calcification. Here is an x-ray of an enchondroma in a metatarsal in the foot. It is well circumscribed, expanding the cortex and shows uniform calcification. And you can see how the thinned cortex around the enchondroma makes the metatarsal susceptible to pathological fracture. Grossly, most enchondromas are less than 3 cm in diameter. They have a nodular appearance with a glassy, pale grey or blue cut surface and there may be white flecks of calcification. Histologically, enchondromas are well circumscribed and lobulated and hypocellular with clusters of chondrocytes with small inconspicuous nuclei lacking atypia. The stroma is abundant and predominantly non-myxoid, although foci of myxoid degeneration can be seen along with foci of calcification. This is the histological appearance of an enchondroma at low power. You can see how well circumscribed the lesion is and also it has a rather lobulated outline. The nuclei are rather inconspicuous and lie in abundant chondroid stroma.